Would you guys like to do the honors? You have A and you have okay. B. Okay, here we go. Okay. Ready? Which was the Costco Three, one? Three, two, one. We're going to be doing a blind tasting Costco wines versus another type of wine, but of the same region. And we had to guess which one the Costco one is. We have three different categories. We're doing sparkling, a rosé, and a red. We have been very careful. We do not know which wine is in which. We've had other people bag it, pour it into different containers, so we can't tell. <laughs> so we got two different Proseccos. I know what my money's on already. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really just from the color? Yeah. Really from the color? I, think I don't so. think... I mean, color can tell you stuff about wine. Color but, I mean, can, but I don't mean. think Prosecco is... It tells you... Like, it's not like darker Proseccos or right. better. Right, better, yeah. That's my architecture skills coming into play here. I think the Costco one was six ninety nine. Nice. I know, I know, <laughs> guys. Costco, Kirkland Prosecco. If it's good, then everyone should buy it. And then the other Prosecco, I think I got it for ten ninety nine. I'll put in the prices below. I will say I have tasted the Costco Prosecco before. You have? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Well, maybe you might Cheater. know. Cheater. <laughs> this is A and B. If you can see on camera, it's the A is a little bit more. More yeah, yellow, more, more golden. golden, and B is more clear, more pale. Bubble Bubbles. size, I think. Well, B is bigger, right? B yeah. is has bigger bubbles. From here, it's definitely so. Beads are the bubbles, and if they're smaller and tighter, that technically means it's like I don't know. People think it's higher quality, and if they're it's going along with my color theory. Well, but hold on. Is your assumption that the Costco wines are better quality or worse quality? Yeah, what is your assumption? I don't want to, I'm the same. This one is the more expensive one. Right, okay. Well, let's taste yeah. A. Okay. I feel like it's very like a standard Prosecco. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fruity, like, off dry. Yeah, lemon, apple, a little bit of like bitterness, just a slight clean. What are your thoughts? Did you like it? Yeah, it was good. I feel like the an even bubbliness hmm. that makes sense. Like it's like a good like blanket of bubbles. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. Moving on to B. <clears throat> Ooh, this <laughs> <laughs> smells different. It's smells. so much more floral. It smells like perfumey. I get like more pear. More pear. Yeah. I get more. Mm. I get more flower. I get more fruit. On the palate, I definitely get a lot more floral character. I concur. <laughs> <laughs> more floral mm -hmm. more floral definitely to taste so Tyler is trying to beat both of us and he wants to guess more pro pro amateur <laughs> but this is like a different realm of like this is not what we study for we don't study to be like <laughs> which one's the, which one's the Costco, which one's Prosecco? The Costco <laughs> Prosecco? I don't know. I feel like this would be like a cheaper wine. Yeah, it'd be. Right? Cheaper. Because mm. it's like also like sweeter. I do feel like it's sweeter. It's yeah. much sweeter yeah. than the other one. Yeah. I don't like its bubbles. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> its bubbles aren't as cool as good as the other ones. What did his bubbles do to you? Yeah, what they were too aggressive. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's often, I mean, often a criteria of quality is just kind of like, yeah, too big and just like, I don't know, not creamy. Yes, creamy is a good word. Like, it's consistency. The bubbles are more consistent here. Yeah. I prefer A. A is more my style. Although, like, this, if you put, like, orange juice with that one, or actually, if you put orange juice with both, like, I you probably know. wouldn't, yeah. you probably wouldn't tell. No. Let's be honest, like, yeah. Prosecco, most of the time is turned into mimosas. Yeah. I don't like to put a lot of orange juice in my mimosas. Oh yeah, yeah. It needs to be it needs to be like 90% Prosecco. One shade down from 10%. <laughs> yeah. 10%. Just a, bare sla a few drops. It's not a few drops. <laughs> Gotta take an eyedropper oh, and apply it gently. We're about to put up the letter. The, the letter that we think is Costco. Is the Costco. Okay. I feel like I'm kind of cheating though, but okay. Ready? Well, I'm ready. I still don't know which one's in which bottle, but I do know that the Costco one was DOCG, and in my mind, I feel like they would want that to be drier. 
That's my two cents. Or the higher quality one. Or the higher quality one because it's just like DOCG is like the highest. So in my mind, I think A has to be okay. Sorry, that, I was I just want to put that out right. there that. I got my. Oh, I'm already, okay. I'm already okay. against the, the winners. Ready? Yeah. No, I don't know. You don't know. Ready? Right? You don't yeah, know you don't know. know. I just wanted to say, ready? Reveal. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're B? Yeah. B? Yeah, I'm B too. Yeah. You're B too? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh no. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. I'm scared. I'm but I don't really I'm know. I don't know. I don't know either. I don't either. But I, I think to me, A is much more. I like its I like its overall like taste and feel. I think uh, I think I think A is higher quality. Yeah, quality. And so I picked B as being the custom one because it's cheaper. Yeah. I I I I, I, I weighed I, I weighed price more than DOC versus DOCG. I mean and I could be wrong. I mean And I like that's that is a like a problem all the time. Not not problem, but a dilemma. A dilemma yeah. like yeah. when you're in the wine shop and you're like, this one has a higher categorization but this one's more expensive yep. so what is the better quality would you guys like to do the honors you have a and you have okay. b there we go okay Ready? which was the cost Three, of one two one oh shit. Uh, yeah, so B is Costco. Oh, okay. DOC beats DOCG. DOCG. Wow, okay. It was yeah. really the sweetness. And, and like you said, the bubbles are much bigger. And I guess you can tell that in the price difference. And, uh, you know, the color. So maybe he was right, you know. Yeah, maybe, you're, maybe your theory about color was right. That's why you bring an architecture. Because <laughs> we look at things visually. Okay. I also think, though, that... Oh. Labeling is a whole. This is a whole other story. Like labeling can be completely fake. Like if it, it no, be, it's like lobbying. Wait, what do you mean labeling can be completely fake? It's like lobbying. If people pay for that label, it mm. might not mean like the DOC I mean, like, might. Not I mean, mean they could quality. be committing fraud for sure. Watch my prosecco video if you have not so done so already. But it had a DOCG receipt on it. Like you know, like there was like a little sticker mm -hmm. on the side of the bottle, and mm -hmm. like it's kind of hard to fake that. Well, but I guess what I mean is. Like they could just not be upholding to whatever yeah. quality standards of production are upheld by the DOCG, and somehow they got around. I don't know I'm how. Saying, I don't know how it works. Like, okay, we'll give you the little stickers for you to put on the bottle. True. I'm true, saying they true. bought the label. Essentially, they could have bought the label. Who knows exactly? I don't know. I don't know. I should have no. I should have known that the Kirkland one was going to be sweeter. <laughs> Dang well, it! Well, but I mean, I don't ah, know. It, okay, I, fine, I, fine, yeah. It's yeah. more a philosophy on like. That's a philosophy, y'all. It's a, on price versus labeling, you know? Like, who knows? You, you know okay, so is. now that we've tasted this, Kirkland Prosecco is. Yeah, get the it's a there. little. It's a little sweeter. It's a little more floral. It's a very much more fruity. And I guess that is probably what most people want, right? Well, and that's a good. That's a good point. Um, is that yeah it's for the masses know. yeah yeah that's what they decided 6.99 6.99 and i think by the end of this tasting once we review all three i'll have a better understanding of what i think the sommeliers that work for costco yes. have in mind as their target consumer yeah and you know? like costco has master sommeliers a hundred percent they mm -hmm. have people who are sourcing their wines and like like price wise and also quality ready are you ready? Yeah. All right, ready? Reveal. Oh! <laughs> <laughs>